If you're looking for perfect harmony, then Prague's the place, especially when the players are the Czech National Symphony Orchestra and the venue is the wonderfully ornate Smetana Hall. The CNSO is one of half a dozen symphony orchestras in this city, and such a concentration of musical talent is a magnet for international clients seeking maximum orchestral bang for their buck. We profited a little bit on the situation that we are, I think, good enough and cheaper than, than other orchestras. I think this is the reason. And Prague is a nice city. The producers, they have nice service and uh, good musicians. The city is undeniably beautiful, but the world's top classical pop and soundtrack producers don't come here because they fancy walking Prague's cobbled streets. And good enough wouldn't be sufficient to persuade Italian soundtrack maestro Ennio Morricone to record here at the CNSO studio and rehearsal complex on the outskirts of the city. The resulting soundtrack to Quentin Tarantino's Hateful Eight won an Oscar. Flexibility and quality are the key factors. These are musicians who can make adjustments on the fly. Our orchestra, the most important difference is that we are able to change the musicians day by day. We have about 250 musicians. It's like a hockey team, a football team. We have the possibility to create really the, the best, best uh, selection. They're the cream of the Czech Republic's renowned music schools. For internationally minded young people, music once promised an escape from communism's restrictions. Now, almost 30 years on from the Velvet Revolution, private orchestras like the CNSO match the modern Czech spirit with the country's rich musical heritage. The Czech sound is very colorful, um, very soft and also rich. We are full of emotions. Doesn't matter if it's Czech music or film music. It's important to give to people in the public the best what I can. It's pleasure from music. Prague lives and breathes music, but even the stunning historic venues can't sustain an orchestra of the size and quality of the CNSO. Concerts here are rarely profitable, so working with clients overseas is an important part of the mix. The orchestra has toured with the likes of George Michael and Sting, as well as Morricone, and it's developed an enduring relationship with one of the world's leading conductors and composers. New Yorker Stephen Mercurio has made the CNSO his ensemble of choice. American orchestras would probably like to be more flexible, but their own union doesn't necessarily permit that. You know, you get two and a half hour sessions here in the States, and they'll give you a four-hour session. Um, they'll negotiate depending on the size of the orchestra. If you're going to do a string orchestra piece, they'll say, oh, you need X amount of players for X amount of time, and then they will then present you with a budget that reflects that. In other words, they're incredibly practical, and I think other organizations wish they could be that practical, but sometimes are, are pulled back by restraints that, quite frankly, the, the Czechs don't have. But it's not just about the bottom line or the lack of restrictive regulations. Clients value CNSO players as creative partners who breathe life into the sheet music on their stands, whatever the genre. They come at it in a very, very open way. No matter what the project is, they'll accept it at face value. And if you insist on a certain kind of perfection, a certain musical result, they will go with it without bringing uh, a negative attitude towards it, like, why are we playing this? We should be playing Mahler or Brahms. That's great, and they can play that beautifully. But I can see that they also had fun playing American in Paris with me, or, or, um, or Bernstein, or my own piece. And as a composer, it's nice to know that if you're going to bring a project to them, that they're going to accept it and treat it as if it were a Mahler symphony, with the same respect and dignity. For the performers, the CNSO represents the best of both worlds, exposure to different genres while keeping a firm hold of their classical heritage. 
every conductor or every soloist uh, have different uh, view how to how to do music. It's very good for me because I learn a different type of music or also Czech music. This is interesting how to do in different styles. If people knew they could hire the CNSO for about a quarter of what you'd have to pay in London, they might be tempted. But be warned, the CNSO don't work with wannabes in the crowd. We had a lot of offers in the past years from the soloists and conductors, which are uh, not very known and uh, I'm honest, to not too good enough musically. And we, okay, it uh, could be money for the orchestra, but we are not able to to accept it, you know, because the light of the orchestra, the, the style and, and the face of the orchestra must be, must be uh, perfect. Prague isn't just about the CNSO. There are other orchestras that specialize in recording and performance for international clients. After all, this city couldn't live without music, and perhaps music couldn't live without this city either. For Monocle in Prague, I'm Guy Delaunay.